Hey guys, my name is Andre and I'm a full-time print-on-demand seller. And this is the first video in a series of videos that I plan to do where we go through some AI design prompts together. Now, the purposes of these videos are twofold. One, I wanna give you an easy win with an out-of-the-box AI design prompt that you can use on Ideogram right away. You'll get that at the end of the video. And two, I want to give you an understanding of how to deconstruct and use these prompts in order to run with them and build your own prompts in order to scale your print-on-demand business. Experimenting with these base prompts and trying things out for yourself is going to give you a huge return over time. So enough mucking about, let's get to the prompts. Okay, so here we are in prompt number one. Prompt number one is a vintage logo style design. We've kept it very simple, we've made it monochromatic, and we included a pun. And in order to get the most out of the prompt, we also asked for different background colors. So you're getting double the designs for the same prompt. Now, there are a lot of different things that you can do using this as a base prompt. This base prompt is very good at creating that vintage feel that's trending a little bit right now. You can easily sub out the graphic, change the words, and it's going to give you that vintage old timey feel that's trending right now. So that first one, very useful, works awesome for print on demand. And it's very easy to sub things in and out and have it make sense to scale your print on demand business. The next two are a little bit more involved but still quite useful and will do better within certain types of niches. Okay, so here we are with prompt number two. Prompt number two is a lot longer, but that's because we're asking for a lot more details in our design. We're asking for a particular kind of cat face with eyes a certain way, we want a pink nose, and then we have this nice set of ski goggles which look great with the silhouetted mountains and trees, and it creates a theming. And it's and generally speaking, these cross-niche ideas are going to have more involved prompts. And once again, we change the background to make sure we have options for both light and dark shirts. Now, this prompt is a little harder to just take and niche all over the place. It's fairly pared down. However, you can do things like sub out the animal, fairly easily, potentially remove the phrase, or even swap out the phrase. But while these kinds of designs are not the easiest to scale, it's harder for people to compete with this type of highly detailed cross-niche design. And you might even be able to charge more for the item. And here we are with prompt number three. Once again, a very long prompt because we're asking for a lot of details to be included in the image. Now, the style of this design is obviously of Japanese origin. It's going to resonate a lot with people who like anime and things of that nature. Now, because of the type of niche and the demographic that we're targeting, this is going to be, once again, kind of a narrower use case than the prompt number one. You could swap out colors, you could add text, you can maybe change what kind of weapon they're holding, like maybe a samurai bow instead of a katana. And this style of design would even work on something like a poster instead of just a t-shirt or a mug. Okay, so those are the three prompts for this video. I hope that you got something out of breaking down these prompts and looking at these outputs together. If you want a copy of these prompts for free, I'm going to link it somehow in the description below. If you end up using these prompts, leave me a comment below. Let me know how it went for you, and I will see you next time.